welcome to Dave's General Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. So, I just got finished uh, watching it, so I'm crying, but let's try to get through this with minimal crying. I don't know what's happening with the bangs. They looked good yesterday. So, at Elizabeth's place, uh, Franco is there taking care of Elizabeth. Jason shows up, and he's absolutely thrilled. And apparently, Jake made her a get well card, and she asks why Jason's all dressed up, and he says he's going to Sabrina's funeral. So, they won't exactly let her go to the funeral because she just got out of the hospital and she shouldn't be going anywhere. I don't agree with that. A funeral, that's something, like, you you need to go to. It's only going to happen once and it's, like, not that far away. Like, you can do it. Um, but basically, after Jason leaves, she talks to Franco about how overwhelmed she is by the amount of friends she's lost. Just, like, in the past decade and in the past, like, few days. At Finn's place, uh, Hayden brings him coffee. Uh, she invited herself in and sees the mess he made. And she tells him Naomi took the fall for her. And also her father isn't really her father. And Elizabeth's her half-sister. Hey! Um, so she wants him to lean on her. And, you know... He shows her the Albert Einstein tie he was looking at the other day and tells her it's he and his wife's anniversary today and uh, she wanted him to take things less seriously and to do that she would get him these fun ties. So basically uh, she wanted to, how she wound up getting the disease is where they were, they were where the disease originated and he felt it was important to stay there but she wanted to go home and he was like no 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 I, I have to stay so she's like okay I'll stay with you and then uh, samples were mishandled and she was exposed to the disease so basically he blames himself for her getting sick because she should have been at home she wanted to go home. Uh, but she never blamed him or held it against him. So this tie was their last anniversary present, and he wears it every anniversary, but never in a lab, because that's against the rules. And Hayden helps him put his tie on. At Curtis's place, Val and Curtis seem to be doing well, since they wake up together. And Valerie thinks that she should have been more alert when she was attacked, and like she kind of takes this very personally what happened. Uh, at the PCPD, Jordan's working herself to the bone. Andre comes in to help. Uh, she doesn't want to take his time and he's like, hey, I want to help General Hospital open because it'll it, patients need to be there. Uh, so they bounce ideas off each other and then Valerie and Curtis walk in. Curtis doesn't think the GH killer is a doctor, um, but it is someone who walks around in an official capacity, perhaps a, law, a member of law enforcement. Uh, so that doesn't go over too well, uh, but Jordan has Valerie make a list of officials that would be in General Hospital, administrators, people who could walk around and it wouldn't cause any, like... Um, suspicion. At Sabrina's funeral, it's going to be a fairly short one today, so at Sabrina's funeral, uh, Griffin leads the funeral. Paul has the audacity to be there. Like, I know he has to to save face, but like, ugh, just disgusts me. Uh, Lucy Co speaks. She says Sabrina should be thanked for what she brought to all of their lives, and she thanks her for everything because she's the reason she's back in Port Charles. Uh, Felix comes up next, and at this point, Jason had arrived. And Felix doesn't know where to start, how to, and he, he doesn't, it's, it's, hasn't, you know, I, I can't imagine what he's going through. And, um, Basically, he talks about how, you know, they they just one day they were best friends. He doesn't exactly remember when it happened, which with best friends, that's how it happens. I know Sarah Jane for over 10 years, known Cassie for probably just about 10 years this year, and, like, to pinpoint exactly when it happened is impossible. Uh, so Dante tells Tracy that Sabrina's murder may help them find the killer because he was sloppy, and Paul hears that, so he's not too happy. Uh, when Griffin asks if anyone else wants to share a memory of a of a Sabrina, Elizabeth walks in with Franco and says she does. So Jason makes sure he's, makes sure he stands in the back with Franco, away from everyone else. Uh, so Elizabeth says Sabrina um, for Sabrina, she's going to be try to be more like her to honor her. And I'm like, I'm down with that. I think that'd be a great uh, development to the Elizabeth character that's kind of uh, um, re regressed in the past two years. So then Michael speaks and he talks about how Sabrina was with Avery and that's when he realized he loved her and then he starts breaking down and Carly comes up to say some words uh, so Michael can recover and Carly talks about you know the estrangement and how Sabrina uh, came into Michael's life around that time and how she facilitated the family coming together and she'll always be grateful to her for that and 
like now I can't believe they're only having the funeral a few days after Sabrina's death maybe like a day or two I can't believe Joe would take Teddy before the funeral I know Teddy's too young to understand what's going on but it's still important to be there and that kind of annoys me a little bit uh, so then a Griffin calls Epiphany up and I'm like ooh I know what's gonna happen so I better get my tissues ready and um, she says some nice words uh, um, to and about Sabrina and how they're all gonna be strived to be more like her, it's already starting, and then the song, Epiphany Sings, the You're Not Alone Anymore song, and I lost it. I think the most I've cried since Sabrina died. I just lost it. I was expecting a montage, but they didn't do a Sabrina montage, so I, was it just the one Sabrina montage? Are we gonna get more, or are we done? Um, and Tracy holds Paul's hand, and I'm like, no, Tracy, bad Tracy, back, no, bad, and bad Paul, really bad Paul, Tracy doesn't know what's going on, she thinks she's being supportive, ooh, and now, um, end scene, I know, um, fast one today, because everyone was in one place, uh, the funeral's over, Hayden and Finn bond, and they toast to Rico, uh, ah, she said it, Hayden said it nicer, and I forget how she said it, um, her name, ah, uh, I know, I know I'm butchering that name, uh, Franco is going to stay with Elizabeth at her place, uh, Curtis reminds Jordan of a case they worked where the guy they wanted was right under their noses the whole time, and perhaps that's what's happening now, uh, Tracy sees Paul had, uh, hung back while everyone left, and the biggest Sabrina, the picture of Sabrina seems to be staring into him, and he says he's sorry, and then he, like, goes to leave, and Tracy's like, why are you sorry? And he's like, I killed her. And I know. First reaction is like, oh, and then second reaction is like, no, 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 no. He's going to say, I'm going to tell you right now what he's going to say. You ready? He's going to say that it must have been the Jeromes that had her killed because she was going to testify and her testimony would have put Julian behind bars and then he's setting this whole thing up to frame Ava, I believe. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but I know I'm, I'm calling it right now. That's what's going to happen. So that is it for today's General Hospital Recap. I know, short Friday today. Uh, we will vote for Character of the Week, uh, since I think that's probably the most apt for this week, since there's a lot of individual stuff going on. No, like, main tie besides, I mean, if we vote for more tragic, it's Sabrina dying. So we'll go for Character of the Week. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you Monday for more General Hospital. I hope you have a great day. Bye!